horses are down at our house. 225 Melissa Lane. I was watching, I was watching my, my horses um, try to keep their head up out of the water and breathe. And uh, that, that is something that you never, ever, ever, ever want to see in your entire life. Is that kind of thing for something you've saved from people beating and starving and you tell them that they can live there the rest of their life in happiness and run and play, which they had always done. And then you're watching them fight for life and they're so big you can't pick them up. You can't just handle it. You can't do anything. And so that will be behind my eyes every time I close my eyes for the rest of my life. When you see the aerial shots, it's just water for miles. And, it, and it's just, and to drive, to boat through it, drive through it, to boat through it and just see it. You know, we, we have these calls. We're like, go to this house, find our animal. And you're sitting there and you're like, okay, well, GPS says I'm here and I can't find the house. And you're, it's underneath you. I mean, that is, that, that takes a piece of you away. Not only for the animal that may or may not have still been in there, but, you know, for the people that lost everything they had. And that's a hard thing to come back from. You know, she's so tired. She had her left eyes closed, yep. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. This vase belonged to my children's great grandmother who left Poland um, when the Nazis were getting ready to storm her farm. This vase is a reminder of the flowers that were in it and the beautiful life she had before she left Poland. You know, I, I think about this vase and I want to say to all my, all my horse friends and everyone who's struggling, um, you know, this isn't a war and um, we'll get past this. We'll help each other, we'll lift each other up and, um, you know, like this vase, it's, it's a reminder of um, we do rebuild, we do recover, we do get back on our feet. Ooh.